Um, can you tell me your name? Jeff. <laughs> and where were you born? Jeff Langia. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Learn English with Amy. The theme of this episode is learning the ropes. When we say we're learning the ropes, it means we're learning how to do a job or activity. For example, I am learning how to record and edit this podcast. The clip you heard just before was me and my eldest son testing the sound. I should note, for the record, that my son is not called Jeff, and he is not from a place called Jeff Langia. He will provide mostly accurate information in our interview, which follows. But first, a little more about the expression to learn the ropes. Where does it come from? Well, as with most idioms, its true origin cannot be confirmed. However, it's very likely that it has a nautical origin and refers to sailors and sailing. As the website knowyourphrase.com explains, When it comes to wind-powered ships, ropes, also known as lines, are important for navigating them through the ocean. Many of these lines are attached to the sails of the ship and are used to control the shape of the sail. This, in turn, impacts how the vessel, or ship, moves around the water. So ropes are an essential part of a ship, and sailors must learn how to use them, move them, and tie them into various knots. When someone helps teach you how to do a job or activity, they are showing you the ropes. And when it comes to learning how to record a podcast, for instance, fortunately, there are many people on YouTube who can help show me the ropes. When you have successfully learned how to do a job or activity, you can say that you know the ropes. And with time and lots of podcasting practice, I'm sure I too will be able to say that I know the ropes. I hope you found that useful. I'll include this explanation in the episode notes. I will also try to link to a transcript of this entire episode, if that's possible. Okay, so now to my very first guest. Today I have a very special guest. Could you tell me your name, please, sir? I am Liam. How old are you, Liam? I'm 11. No, you're not. <laughs> How old are you really? I'm almost 10. Almost nine. 10, yeah. Where were you born? I was born in the UK. And where do you live now? Brasilia. And where's Brasilia? It's the capital of Brazil. And how do you and I know each other? Um, because you gave birth to me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm your mother. And uh, this is what I like to call a comfort level check. So on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, how happy were you to join me today? Be honest. Hmm, probably about a 9. A 9. That's, that's very generous. So, um, so, Liam, why or how is the English language important to you, like in your life? And... Um, it's one of the highest uh, spoken languages for like business. So like English is a very good language to have you know, with any, anyone, because lots of people want to learn it, and uh, depends what job you have, but it's, you know, really good, because you can, you can communicate with probably, like, three times as more people. And, um, do you speak any other languages? Um, mm, yes and no. I'm still learning Portuguese, and I'm okay at Portuguese. So, Liam, um, this next question is about your favorite and least favorite things about the English language. If you had to choose just one, what would you say is your favorite English word or expression? Probably time to play football. That's <laughs> my favorite expression. And what is your least favorite word or expression? Um, we have to do this later. <laughs> yeah, which you hear a lot, to be fair. Yeah. And lastly, what would be your top tip, your top piece of advice for someone who's looking to get really, really good at speaking English? Learning, maybe learning like the tenses, uh, suffixes and prefixes, basic words so you can like combine together and uh, maybe conjunctions, uh, trying to speak as much as possible possible well for a native speaker it sounds easy but i bet it's not easy well you know how it how difficult it can be to learn a new language don't you yeah. 
So you know that it's a challenge. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how do you how do you get better at Portuguese? Um, I will probably I just speak it. You know, like to communicate, like playing football, wanting to play. Just say like, oh, how old do you know that? And you know, making friends. But of course, we're in COVID, so can't really. And I'm not around many speak Portuguese speakers. That's true. Or natives. Yeah, that's true. Liam, I just wanted to say a big thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. So that's all for now. Please be sure to follow and subscribe to Learn English with Amy so that you can listen and learn more. And be sure to follow hashtag English with Amy on Instagram. Until next time.